What an actor, man. What an actor. And just the, the job he's doing for Goss is amazing, man. Didn't think they'll do that to Lalo. Didn't think they'll do that to Lalo. Spoilers, 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 man. So, guys, we're in the home straight, man. We are now in the home straight of Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. Didn't think they'll do that to Lalo. See, this is the thing why I'm in two minds. This is why I think what's it called? Vince Gilligan and his crew are so good because you can never predict what's going to happen next. Because I thought, oh my gosh, Lalo will still be around and he's going to be a problem to like the last few episodes. The fact that they've now taken him out, I'm like, <clears throat> okay, what are you now going to do for the next few episodes once that threat is now gone? Because the only, the only threats I can think of are the, the twins. I, th I think they are Salamanca as well. Those, yeah, those Salamanca twins with the, with the bald head. But it's like, what's the, th what is, what threat now exists to, Soul and his wife, you know, I don't know what threats a um persists to, to those guys. But see, here's the whole thing this is the danger about having prequels because this is a prequel. I had no tension in the scene between Lalo and Goss Frank because I was like, Goss will live. So even when he shot me and so forth, I was like, there is no tension here because I know that he lives. If this was the first pass that we saw, then I would be like, oh my gosh. Is he gonna get Gus? Is Lalo gonna say what's up? But because we know that Gus lives, it's still it's still good because um Tony Dalton, who plays Lalo and Giancarlo Esposito as are great actors, and that was such an amazing scene because it was like, just really great acting between both of them. So from an acting point of view, it was amazing, but there was no tension because we knew what was gonna happen. Um But I don't really know what's gonna happen now. It's really interesting. I really don't know what's going to happen now because I suppose what you're not going to have is the fallout because I, th I think what's going to happen in the next episode is, okay, how does Saul's wife now process this? And how does Saul process this with the facts of, like, is it Howard got clipped and he's even going to have a freaking funeral? The guy is now completely gone because the, he has, his body has now got to be exposed and they have to now make up a lie as to what happens to him. So how are they going to now live with that? And can they live with that guilt? Specifically Saul's wife. I mean, Saul can, but can Saul's wife can? That, that's not going to be the whole thing. But this is, what I, this is how I wouldn't see these things to go because it's interesting. So Saul's wife, again, I've got her name. Is it, is, it, is it Kim? I think it's Kim. She wasn't originally supposed to be in all these episodes. But I think that once she was in a few episodes, they were so happy with what she did, they actually gave her more. And for me, I'm indifferent to that character. I don't really care for her character that much. I mean, really good. I mean, re really good acting. Like the actress they have, she's good. Like, is it Reese Seaborn? She's good, but I'm just not really into the the character that much because I'm here for Saul and the Salamancas and Goss. Um, because my thing though is how it, sh it has to end is she has to die. I believe that she has to die, and that is what really just sets off Saul just to go into fully this crooked kind of lawyer. The only thing that is sort of keeping him somewhat sane and not off the deep end is because of her. So two things ha can happen. Either she dies or she leaves him. But if she leaves him, I'll be like, eh, there has to be a massive impact. I'll really take things into the, the next plateau. So it's interesting to see how that will be resolved. I was just I was pissed at the rid of Lalo. I thought Tony Dalton did such a great job. I think his, uh, this way that clown, Chris Hemsworth, who does crap Thor needs to understand. That's what you call a take on a character. Because I'm sure Tony Dalton and maybe with Vince Gilligan said, okay, I know he's supposed to be a criminal, Salamanca, bad guy. What if we make him a bit odd? What if we make him a bit quirky? What if we make him a little bit off-center and so forth and add a bit of dark humor into it? Thus, crazy such a, 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 a crazy character. Here's my thing, though. Where's, where's Tuco? Tuco is still in prison. So when does Tuco get out of prison? Because this was similar to Tuco. And then, like, Tuko was just what else mad. But um, I thought Tony Dalton was great. And that guy has to have... He's going to give, be given more roles. Like, that's the kind of guy who would be amazing in, like, a Western. Because you know what? He reminds me of... Um, I don't know whether you guys have seen A Few Dollars More. And this guy called um, Jan Maria Vopolonce, who one of the best act performances ever was his role in um, in Few Few Dollars More with Clint Eastwood. He reminds me so much of, of him, man. But yeah, man, like, really good actor. 
Kaiser Mochi, I don't, I, see, see, now I'm like, wow, what's now going to happen? How are things going to unfold? Because this is all about what sets things off in so soul than becoming fully that soul guy, that soul dude. That is this crazy lawyer that we know in Breaking Bad, man. Um, yeah, man. Um, we await and we seek. What do you guys think of this episode? I know, bro, bro, the way, like, uh, yeah. Giancarlo Esposito, man. Because the first time I saw him was in Usual Suspects. That's the first time I saw him. But he had a small role. And then, of, of course, um, Do the Right Thing and all of Spike Lee's movies and everything. But, bro, like, what what an actor, man. What an actor. And just the, the job he's doing for Gus is amazing, man. What an actor, man. See, so, yeah, tell me guys what you think. Like, subscribe. I'll see you next week for the next ep. One love.